Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to Molina and Skipper Keys. The feisty and fun Skipper Key has been known since medieval times. According to the Skipper Key Club of America, the breed originated in Belgium and can be traced back to the 1600s. Much of what is known of their origins and early history comes from Chassis de Pechy magazine, French for hunting and fishing. The Skipper Key has the distinction of having one of the first specialty shows. This show took place in 1690 when members of the Shoemakers Guild were invited to display their skipper keys and their hammered brass collars, which were fashionable at the time, in the Grand Place of Brussels. The skipper key is believed to be descended from a now extinct black sheepdog known as the Lovenar. The Lovenar was a larger dog, often found in the Louvain region of Belgium, that was bred down in size to meet implemented restrictions on dogs Belgian commoners could own. These dogs are apparently the foundational breed for both the modern and smaller Skipperkey and the modern and larger Black Belgian Shepherd dog, also known as the Gronendale. While the Gronendale was developed to be a herding breed, the Skipperkey was developed to be a small watchdog. They were often seen guarding the boats that plied the canals between Brussels and Antwerp, earning themselves a fun nickname, the Little Captain. Tradesmen also kept early skipper keys as ratters who would keep pesky mice and other small animals away. Skipper keys were first recognized and registered as a formal breed in the 1880s, and the breed standards were described by 1889. Before the name skipper key was officially taken, when the breed club was formed in 1888, the breed was also known colloquially as Spitz or Spitzky, a name commonly used to describe a small dog with pointed ears. Still to this day though, there is a debate over whether this dog is a spitz or, as Belgium claims, a small sheepdog. They were also occasionally called Mork, meaning little black animal, and are still known as LBD, for little black devils. The word skipperkey may mean little shepherd or little captain, either of which would be appropriate given this breed's heritage. Although the proper pronunciation of the breed's name is Sheeperker, you might more commonly hear it pronounced Skipperkey, especially in the United States. The Skipperkey became a fashionable pet after Queen Marie Henriette, the wife of Leopold II, saw a Skipperkey at a Brussels dog show in 1885 and became enamored with these small dogs. The popularity of the breed grew with the upper classes, quickly spreading to England, and the Skipperkey was eventually imported by Walter J. Comstock. To the United States in 1888. The first United States Specialty Club for the Skipperkey was formed in 1905, but the official breed club, the Skipperkey Club of America, was not founded until 1929. The Skipperkey is a small but sturdy dog. The Skipperkey's face is unique and instantly recognizable, highly intelligent, slightly mischievous, and has an alert attitude, with fox-like features and a sweet smile. Their body has a square profile, and when the skull is seen from the side, it looks slightly rounded but narrows towards the muzzle, which is shorter in length than the skull. Their dark oval eyes are placed forward on the face, and they have small, high-set, erect pointed ears. These dogs have a small black nose, and their teeth meet in a scissors or level bite. Skipper keys are double-coated with a soft, fluffy undercoat, covered by a somewhat harsher feeling and longer outer coat. The Skipperkey's dense, shiny and solid black coat is thickest around the neck, shoulders, and legs, giving these little dogs a full and fluffy sloped silhouette. One of the breed's characteristics apart from the long ruff that surrounds the neck is a distinctive outline, sloping from the highest point at the withers to the base of the tail. Although the coat is normally solid black, and the only color accepted by the AKC, they also come in a range of fawn shades or variations on tan. Puppies are born with tails of different lengths. Skipperkey tails naturally vary from bobbed and practically invisible to long and fluffy. An adult's height is typically between 11 and 13 inches, 28 and 33 centimeters for males, and between 10 and 12 inches, 25 and 30 centimeters for females. Skipperkeys are small dogs weighing 10 to 16 pounds, 4.5 to 7 kilograms. Skipperkeys have an average lifespan of 13 to 15 years. The required level of physical activity is medium. The Skipperkey does not need expensive or excessive grooming. Their gorgeous coats are relatively easy to care for, requiring brushing once a week, 
which is a breeze compared to other small dog breeds. There is no need for cutting or trimming, and the rough fluffs up naturally. The lovable Skipper Key is also low drool and low shedding, which makes them a great fit for tidy owners who prefer to avoid sloppy kisses and tons of lint rolling. They do not shed excessively, except for seasonal heavy sheds once or twice a year. Baths are usually not needed, as the breed tends to be odorless. However, during the heavy shedding seasons a warm bath may help loosen and remove dead hair. Other grooming needs include regular nail trim, as long nails can cause discomfort and ear hygiene. Even if pointy ears get more ventilation than folded ears, and hence, tend to infect less, the breed's love for swimming may require precautionary ear checking. Having spent their formative years on the confined quarters of a boat, the Skipperkey can do well in just about any type of dwelling, including an apartment, as long as they get at least half an hour of exercise daily, and more is better. During hot weather, which they do not tolerate well, they enjoy lying in front of a fan or beneath a ceiling fan. Skipper keys are ideal for owners who want a small-sized, active dog that does not require a large yard. Skipper keys can be satisfied with walks and games of fetch. If they get bored, they can become destructive or bark excessively. Walk them on a leash to prevent a sudden dash toward an interesting animal or object. Feed your Skipper Key good dog food with high-quality ingredients. Skipper Keys tend to need their food measured out and their eating closely monitored, as they are prone to unhealthy weight gain. Skipper Keys are very smart and extremely curious, tending to be interested in everything that goes on in their surroundings. They like to be involved in family activities and tend to be reserved with strangers. Skipper keys are selective in offering their friendship, generally limiting it to family members with whom they create strong bonds. The Skipper Key is a small dog that thinks it is a big dog. They are fearless, great home protectors, and guardians of their families. Incredibly kid-friendly, these small black pups also get along well with cats and other dogs, making them excellent family pets. However, they may try to chase small animals. They are sometimes very active, running very fast, and then breaking into quick, agile crisscross patterns. However, the same skipper key can also rest for hours on end. So they are not constantly active, in contrast to the Jack Russell Terrier. Skipper keys are formidable barkers and can be aggressive with strange dogs. Yet they get along well with dogs whom they already know, especially dogs from their household. Because of their watchdog nature, skipper keys tend to develop excessive barking behavior if not taught otherwise. Their independent and stubborn nature can be challenging to tame, but skipper keys are incredibly intelligent dogs who can pick up commands quickly, hence proper training and socialization must start as soon as possible. The reason why, although they are incredibly cute, smart, and funny, they can be a handful for a first-time dog owner. Begin training when your skipper key is young, and continue to reinforce lessons throughout his life. They require a trainer who is patient and consistent, and they respond best to positive reinforcement techniques such as food rewards, praise, and play. Give the skipper key a job to do, or train them for agility, obedience, or other dog sports, and you have a well-behaved friend for life. Skipper keys are generally quite healthy and long-lived. However, certain health conditions are known to occur in the breed. Orthopedic problems include patellar luxation and leg cap pertus disease, a condition with a yet unknown cause, in which blood supply to the femoral head, in the hip joint, gets interrupted, causing the bone to die. Other recurring disorders include thyroid problems, such as autoimmune thyroiditis, and MPS3 or San Filippo syndrome, a potentially fatal genetic mutation that happens only in a few breeds, being Skipper Keys the most recurring one. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that, each new subscriber and positive comment, motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.